Hey guys, it's early August and we're out here at my new farm. Uh, this is going to be a really cool spot. I can guarantee someone's going to kill a deer down here. We could also catch that picket fence buck down here too. Two years ago he was down here a lot, but then he moved and where we just set up that rubbing post for him. perfect example of how fast your season can change. Oh, this is insane. <laughs> Give me some brother. Give me some I can't believe the size of that G2 right there. Oh my word. There's nothing that replaces that feeling right there. God, I love it. I love this stuff, man. I love it. It's just tough. Well, that's how you hope they all work out. <laughs> the first hunt of the year, first deer of the year out here is this mature buck. This is probably the highest odds spot of having an encounter with this upturned buck this fall. Now I'm on a small property that I have permission to hunt. It's about 70 acres and my goal is to somehow make it hunt bigger. Small property and there's a ton of hunting pressure around. This is the exact trail that that Page's mother buck walked down right here. And so now that that crab buck is out of there, I expect him to be back down here kind of ruling the roost this year. So we'll see if it plays out that way. We ran cameras in here pretty heavy in October and got multiple bucks on camera, including a really big 10 pointer that hopefully is alive. Just looking forward to this coming season. Can't wait for it. And we're out here at my new farm. This is uh, a lot closer to home and where I work, so I think I can increase my utilization of the land we own. Blank farm, basically 165 acres. There's no buildings on it. It's a nice mixture of uh, crop ground, CRP, and timber. We're gonna get some big and beastie to throw in here. I've got a stand right here in this oak tree. Uh, this is a farm that I've hunted in the past. Um, had some good hunts and shot some really nice deer. So hopefully I'll be down here September 15th for the Missouri Open and bring guests some action. So we've got Tanker about 150 yards from us right now. He's with a good buck that he's been running with all summer long. We're starting to piece together his core. This buck is notorious for not being predictable. He's sporadic, but he has a small core area.
want to welcome you to a new season of Midwest Whitetail. We're going to be bringing you uh, weekly episodes every Monday morning here on the main show, but we're going to start the first part of September with the regional series. We've got five regional series. Uh, we've got the East, we've got the uh, Great Lakes, Great Plains, Heartland, and the Southeast. So we've got five regional series plus the main weekly series that I host and uh, a lot of daily video vlogs too. If you haven't been keeping up with those during the summer, those should really start to ramp up. So you can catch those on the website or on the Midwest Whitetail Dailies channel or now on the Realtree 365 app that you can download to your device. So we got a lot of different ways you can watch Midwest Whitetail. Uh, we just finished up Chasing November. You're just a, a ton of media hopefully out there that'll get you excited for the coming deer season. So now let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna be doing in the next few weeks here on the show. Uh, I wanna introduce our cast. Uh, most of the same faces that you've seen here in the past. You know, myself, of course, Jared Mills, uh, Mike Reed, Josh Sparks, Drake Lamb. We're gonna have a couple of uh, interns that'll be contributing this year as well. well. Owen from last year will be back. Owen does a really nice job. I'm looking forward to seeing how his season goes. But also we're gonna be introducing Josh Honeycutt from Kentucky. He'll be contributing this year for the first time. So it'll be fun to follow that part of the country, which is different from where a lot of us are hunting here, right in the middle of the heartland. I've got a few bucks picked out already, and uh, the next few weeks are gonna be devoted to a little bit more of, of filming on the fields. Then I'll transition into uh, running my Cuddyback trail cameras and try to find a lot more of these deer, specifically where they're moving to for their fall ranges. So we're picking them up now and that's a lot of fun, but really the heart of the season and the preparation for the season starts in early September when they shed their velvet, they disperse their bachelor groups, then they move into their fall ranges. And that's when it starts to get really interesting for me. So that's, that's kind of my plan. I've got three so far, three bucks so far that we've found. And I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more once I get the cameras out. And all the rest of the guys are doing the same thing. They're locating bucks now, uh, trying to put their, their list of targets together trying to figure out which ones are killable you know really planning out the whole season it starts now so keep checking back every week we're going to walk you through this whole story as our cast not only here on the main show but also on the regional shows you know break it all down for you and take you along for the ride as we always say you, you won't you might learn a little bit from us but hopefully you can learn a lot with us because we show you everything we do whether we do it right or do it wrong uh, we take you along for the whole ride. Well, I appreciate you joining us again for another season. This is uh, year number 12 for Midwest Whitetail. And we're looking forward to bringing you all the action. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you right back here again next Monday for the next episode of Midwest Whitetail. And remember to always dream big.